Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to Lego Jurassic World. We're here on Ila Nublar now, pretty much just right where we left off, more or less. And uh, we have ourselves a choice. We can go to Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. I mean, the choice is obvious here. We're going to Jurassic Park. But first... Sirs, madam, welcome to Jurassic Park. Thanks, buddy. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. Solid. So we're going to want to... Can I break this thing? Is that a thing I can do? Nope, it's just going to freak out and, and yell at me. Okay, that's fine. Can I break these? Oh, they're stuck down there. Yep. I didn't realize this was all 3D. Oh, that's so cool. So, this is quickly becoming my favorite game of the moment. I mean, it's not hard to see why, because it's dinosaurs and Lego and video games. Like, the three things in this world that will make me super happy. And they're all in one place. So, I mean, what's not to love? Ah, oh, so I'm just break the crap out of all these things. Oh, what are you? You do something. Can I use you? Can I... Oh, I need a camera. Which I don't possess at this point in time. Okay. Okay, that's your choice. Never mind, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Ah, whatever. Okay, so we have to take... Uh, we have to go to the visitor center. Which... I'm guessing hop in one of these guys? Oh, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dr. Grant was with... Er... John Hammond's with us. Oh, cool, I can pick them up without getting out of the car. That's useful. Now, it's worth it to me to actually break everything. And I've been informed, I should mention this, that these are called studs. The currency is called studs. So, my mistake for not knowing that. But hey, give me a break. It's been forever since I played a Lego game. Oh, man, there's so many bricks. So... One of the things is, it's somebody did mention it's, it is currency. Haven't 100% figured out what I'm going to be spending it on, but for now, it's just a running point total of how badass I am at this game. So it can be Gennaro, Hammond. He's got the briefcase. That's awesome. How about... Yep, I can be Ellie. And, of course, Alan Grant. Alright, so let's touch Grant. Well, we're just gonna... We'll just drive on out of here. Bonk. Bonk again. And how do I open this? Oh, there's people here. Hi. Give me a break. If you need spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels. Okay, so we need... Oh. Hello. Dig it up, buddy. I mean, the puzzles in this are, are not difficult, right? They're, they're meant, they're, this is a kid's game, but they're very well thought out, I think. Oh, uh, John Hammond. Get away. Boom. Passcode is left, down, up. Boom. Thanks, buddy. But, <laughs> take the door to the face there. Nice. Ah, whatever. Screw it. Hammond can drive. And also use his walking cane to beat the crap out of stuff, which I find amusing. Oh, no, I want... God damn it. Get me in the damn car. There you go. I would very much like to build one of these Jeeps, though, Ted, in my... Oh. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. Oh, uh, so they couldn't get the voice now, right to him. I'm not convinced. Unfortunate. Let's shut you down, John. <laughs> I could, he just, like, I, I got no fucks to give. He's just like, whatever, I'm just going to sit here and giggle. It's all good. Oh. Alan, this species of Veriform has been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this but, thing is a hunter's thing. Turn. And... Lego dinosaurs! Ah, that is really cool. You know, the animation's really well done in this. It's very smooth. I'm actually fairly impressed with it. 
But I mean, considering this is the newest game, I would be disappointed if it wasn't that good. It's... it's a dinosaur. <laughs> I love how, like, understated that is in this version. That's great. Bonk. How fast did that? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm -hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Their facial expressions are just so the greatest. Have a T -Rex. <laughs> <laughs> and you're down to this. Oh, not really not. Oh, yeah, sense. there it is. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So awesome. How'd you do this? I'll show you. That was unnecessarily creepy. Oh, so I don't automatically. Okay, so I still have to go to the visitor center. Well, in that case, let's just romp around here for a hot minute and grab ourselves some studs. I don't know what we need them for, but we need them for something. Therefore, collect everything. Oh, what is this? What are you? I need to be a Dilophosaurus. Wait, you can be dinosaurs in this. Ah, okay, that's cool. I'm definitely intrigued about that. I don't know how you become dinosaurs in this, but I want to become a dinosaur. Run around as a Velociraptor, eat people. Come on, it's only green, everybody. It's people. Or just dinner for a uh, raptor. collect all the things. Okay, so I guess we got to go to the visitor center with the cars then. That's that's fairly self-evident at this point in time, but I really don't want to miss any of these, because I like that true survivor thing. That makes me happy. However, I don't know that we're in a level, because I'm not seeing the little completion bar. If you remember that first prologue bit there, it, it literally j it, it, how am I trying to say here? It had a little bar and it filled up as we went along. I'm not seeing that, so this might not actually be strictly a level. This could just be one of those, like, open world in betweener things, is my guess. Or what are you? Can I do it? Can I do something with you? Nope, evidently not. Unless anybody has dynamite on them, which I sincerely doubt. Alright, you know what? Let's just. Ah, I'm a slave to my own compulsions. I can't help myself. I have two jobs. Break everything and collect everything. <laughs> pretty pretty much it. In that order. Fuck you, flowers. Can I break the dinosaur? Nope. Nope. Can't break the dinosaur. Well, I tried. I don't know what that funky camera thing was, but I tried. Okay, well, enough of this. I'm actually getting bored now. Let's just connect this stuff in the, in the middle here, and then we'll go. We'll actually just go. Keep going. Now, if I had access to somebody with a gun, which I don't, I could shoot that target. Uh, oop. As much as I love, like, we might off for fuck's sake, fine. Fine, I will stay as Lego Ian Ockham. Whatever. Oh, that was great. What are you? Hold on, what be you? Sweet, okay, that was just great. Alright. Where? Hold up, why did they not get in their, their thing and drive? Okay, so there we go. I guess I gotta stay as Grant. Okay, quit freaking straight. Jesus Christ. No. Okay, there we go. Get in your, get in your truck. There you go. And now we go this way. Can I beep? Do I have horn? I do have a horn. Ah, 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 ah. Delightful. Okay, uh, open sesame. Uh, okay. Why, why you no open? 
Unless we need to go the other way, I guess. I thought that was the way we needed to go. Apparently it is not. I thought we came from that direction. Mm, apparently we did not. Mm, today I learned. All right, what do you got for us? Those, those gates ain't moving until they install the gears and whatnots, which is fine by me because they've only got herbivores on this side of them. Oh, so you don't want them, car they, them carnivores, eh? I don't know what it is about their accents, but it makes me laugh every time. It's, it's like, uh, is it? Would that be considered a Midwestern accent? Is, is that what that is? I actually have no idea. I mean, I guess I could consider that sort of like a. I wouldn't even say Western Canada accent, because that's not. I mean, I've never met anybody that is strictly from the prairies, so I mean, well, that's not true. I do know a few people from out west. But none of them have that kind of, oh, don't you know, kind of accent. It's all. I don't know, standard Canadian. I mean, realistically, the only people that I can guarantee have different accents is anybody that, that's been raised as, as, as First Nations native because of the languages they speak. And traditional. So, I mean, there's definitely, if they don't, if they didn't grow up speaking English as a primary language, then they definitely have a slight accent. Uh, Quebec, because French. And, and then the East Coast, which is bizarre to say the least. I mean, if you guys have never heard a Nufi accent, uh, do yourself a favor, go find Nufi accents. They are amazing. Everybody should listen to Nufis. And I mean that in the least, like, offensive way possible. They are some of the best people on planet Earth. Although one of the funniest things I think I've ever heard in my life is, um, there's a guy I met from, oh god, New Brunswick, one, like, forever and ever and ever ago. And he has, so he has that sort of Irish, Scottish, something strange, Newfoundland accent. A couple, oh, come on, get me up there, man. Get out of here. Fuck you. Oh, that's, so we live in a world where they just respawn. Good to know. Uh, whatever, fine. We'll just mosey on our way then. Um, and, and he spoke French natively, which was interesting. Because he, he, so he's half French, half English, I guess. So he's half and half bilingual. But he definitely learned to speak French first. So he had the weird Quebecois French accent, but with a mixed with like that Newfoundlander, East Coaster weirdness. It was just like I, I don't, uh, I don't quite un un understand what's what's going on here. It was it was quite amusing to say the least. And very difficult to understand what he was saying when he got really upset. <laughs> but he was a good guy. And then, uh, oh man, I had an Irish roommate for a while, which was really, really funny when he got very, um, shall we say, inebriated. And then it was just, just slur. It was like, I don't, you're saying words, but I don't even, I don't know what they are. It was drunkenese, which was hilarious. But that's my little bit about accents. Everybody's got them. I mean, I know I have some sort of an accent. It's that typical Canadian accent that everybody finds charming. Or at least I hope they find charming. <laughs> I would be concerned if they didn't. Like, well, don't, don't, you, don't you like us? Oh, what is this? There's a thing over here. What are you? Okay, I don't know what that is. What do you got? X, X. So I can use... Oh, okay, that's cool. So I can... Oh, if I get... Tim, I can get seen in the dark. Oh, that's so cool. So I, I can't go in there because it's dark and Grant's afraid of dark. Nope, I need what's your name from Jurassic World. Which, by the way, if you have not seen Jurassic World yet, what are you doing with your life? Go see Jurassic World. What is. So I need Dilophosaurus for that. Fence? Fence? No, no fence. I guess that's the emergency bunker. So that's not really relevant to our, our current story elements. Also, I enjoy the fact that uh, the Jurassic Park theme is just playing completely on loop behind us. It's 
quite soothing, I think. John Williams is a master of song. Alright, let me just... Can I get out on that island? I want it on that island. How does one get out on that island? Can I jump on the lily pads? Nope! Nope! Can't, can't jump on the lily pads. Alright, note to self. Don't do that. Okay, what is this? What are you? Oh! Oh! Oh, that is... Oh! So I can summon vehicles. That's cool. So I can get Jurassic World Shuttle, and Patrol Vehicle, San Diego Group Cruiser. Oh, is that? Oh, that's so cool. That is Ian Malcolm's car. My chair is going to squeak violently. Squeak. Okay, so that's what I use currency for. Oh! Okay, so the studs... Yeah, if I spend... Okay, that's cool. Alright. Alright. So now if I drive around, I can I can use the road super whenever I desire. Ah, that's so cool. Super cool. All right. Okay, so I guess I got to go in the visitor center then, don't I? Let's grab, let's grab our Jeep again really quickly because I want to wanna do a bit of exploring here. Thanks, Ellie. Should I jump on in here? What is behind the scenes? Oh, there's a road. Follow the road. Or the path. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, ooh, bleh. Uh, that's poop. Uh, as, as Ian Lockham said, that is one big pile of shit. Oh, and she just dives in. Oh, oh, why? Oh, come on, man. That's... Uh, alright. Do I just rotate the thumbstick? I'm guessing. Sweet. Do I? Okay, I don't do anything with them. Oh, come on, man. Just walk around it. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, it's Raptor Pen. Oh, okay. So that's how we get to here. Alright, that's cool. So I'm guessing if we have to come back here in another story element sometime, or no, I guess that'd be the prologue, so that wouldn't count, would it? Yeah, there is so much to explore. So, well, this looks interesting. How do I? What do I do with you? Nope, can't do can't do a thing with you. Oh. Why? What? Oh, cause there's, there's... No, apparently, apparently not. Apparently I can't jump on that. Look at him go. Look at him go. All right, that's fine. All right, let's go to the visitor center. Uh, enough of this. Oh, hi there. Can I not do anything with you? Nope. No, I can't. So we're just going to... Oh, hey, Golden Brick. So we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to pretend that's not a thing that's happening right now. We're just going to calmly walk away. That dude getting bald by a Velociraptor. <laughs> we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Let's go to the visitor center and see what we can... See what we can find. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Alright, well they're they're stuck, so whatever. The pathing is not great on this game, I will I will say that. It's not uh, the greatest thing in the universe. Should we go to those doors? Let's just follow the main storyline and go into Good enough. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Lego. So that was. Alright. Bonk. You'll find a great dino fat just down there. Will I? 
Oh, Mosasaurus has a second set of teeth in his upper palate that ensures Bryce lying down his throat will not be able to escape. That is something I probably could have done without knowing. Thank God they're extinct. Amusement park in the entire world. But... D <laughs> Nicely done. Way to go. <laughs> That's all that guy's head. I really think Lego should make fossil sets like that. That would be really Just awesome. One drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA. Yes, they do. The building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes. And? Just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists... <laughs> just like, this just beat the shit out of this thing. Mosquito. That's their sophisticated and techniques. Now we can make a baby <laughs> dinosaur. And then here. So very good oh, condensation, or Perfect condensing of the storyline there. I don't know why I said condensation. Oh, just knock, 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 knock. First creature they come in contact with. Blonk. I'm kind of trying to tap into this. It's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. <laughs> I love the interaction of the characters. with The, like, the lines are so juxtaposed. Where it's, I don't know. I keep talking no, over the cutscenes. And I do mean leaf. Sorry. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move. 50, oh, 60 exhausted. miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. <laughs> <laughs> they remember. <laughs> He's such a creepy son of a bitch in that. I love it. Alright, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Oh good, it's feeding time. Can I get any of those blue thingers again? Alright, well let's... I feel like I'm spending the majority of the episode just breaking things, so why don't we get some storyline on here. Bonk bonk, get the shotgun there. Oh, okay, so I gotta find... Well, these cages aren't gonna be big enough. You barely put a goat in them. So I guess I gotta build a new cage, right? Can I build them under the parts? I can. See, there you go. That's how we do. Bam. That's better. Now we just add cow. Okay, so we need to find. Oh. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? Why, yes, yes, it is. Thanks for the hint, game. Ah. Doing your best to keep us on track, I see. So I'm gonna grab that guy. And we'll find out where they've. For whatever buried the control panel, because you know that's a thing that people do. And now I'll crawl around and dig that shit up. There you go. And now I will build it. See, you just call me a master builder. We got that. Okay. Passcode is left, down, left. Alright. Easy peasy. Give me them studs. Ah, so this section is is the story section, obviously, because we've got the uh, got the guy back, Dino Handler Vic. Bonk. Taking you for a meal, sorta. Oh, that's kind of morbid for even for a Lego game. Muldoon and Bonk. Yeehaw. And we'll just ride you on into there and you can nom on some Fresh veggies. Beef, huh? Those raptors eat better than I do. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and our buddy's just asleep, apparently. Okay, so now what does that do? Is it morning already? Oops. Punk. That dude's gonna fall over. And now what do I do? I guess I gotta shoot that target, don't I? Or we could my knee! No siento, I cannot go on. 
What a guy. Well, thankfully I'm here. Okay, and... Oh, there we go. Goodbye, Bessie. Or no, was that what they called her, Bessie? I think it was Bessie. Oh, well, whatever, doesn't matter. Your raptor chow. Om nom. Bon appetit. Hi. What are they doing? Feeding them. The <laughs> like, there's like, ah. Uh, wait. The essence of chaos. <laughs> What just happened? How did that even? What? Grandpa! Oh, Kids. there's the kids. He missed you. Cool hump. And, oh, hey, he's okay, but clothesless. Well, he's got some shorts on, but that's what it. These will be your transports <laughs> for the afternoon. I like the way they did that. That was nice. Very kid friendly. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. It's spared no expense. I guess they're just like, and story, 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 let's go. Welcome. <laughs> and then he Jurassic says that and the Park. building falls apart. That's great. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the oh. butterfly. The butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and Central Park. So we're going to skip the Dilophosaurus. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> it's a Lego Triceratops. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. <gasps> but that's right. Just sneeze all over Lex. <laughs> I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with so Doctor Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I have to see the dinosaurs dropping. <laughs> He's just like, ah, uh, no thanks. All right. Well, you know what, guys? We're just about out of time here, so this is where we're going to uh, end the episode. As always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm absolutely in love with this game so far. It's so good. I mean, the lines are corny and they're ripping through the storyline, but it doesn't matter. I'm having a blast playing this game. It is so, so good. I highly recommend it so far. And we're only in the first movie. I mean, there's still two more movies and, well, three more movies, technically. I mean, two more right of the original trilogy and then Jurassic World to go. There's a ton of game to come, guys. If you like it, of course, do leave a like. That helps me out tremendously. If you're just joining the channel, hey, you know what? Stick around. we got more action to come for you guys. Hit me up on the applicable social media with any comments, questions, concerns, crimes of anguish. Anything you want to do, just let me know. I'm always here to, to have a chat with you guys. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.